Hi, I'm Norm Smallwood, co-founder of the RBL Group, and together with Dave Ulrich, wrote the book Leadership Brand. At RBL, we believe there are six key elements involved in creating a sustainable leadership brand. We use these six elements to address and assess top companies for leaders, which is published in Fortune magazine every two years, which we collaborate with Aon Hewitt to provide. The first of these six elements is the business case for leadership. This is the most often skipped step and answers the question, if we had better leaders, what would happen? The case includes an assessment of the business growth implications on leadership, an audit of the leadership pipeline to identify gaps, and an understanding of how well leaders have developed investor confidence compared to other comp companies in the same industry over a long period of time. The second element is an agreed to theory of leadership, which is most often manifest in a leadership competency model. This competency model should include the leadership code, which is the foundational 60 to 70 percent basics of what all leaders need to know, be, and do, as well as the remaining 30 to 40 percent of unique customer centric differentiating competencies that ensure employees deliver the desired customer experience. Third element. Assess individual leaders and also assess leadership capability. Leader assessments ensure individuals have an individual development plan, and leadership capability assessments ensure that key gaps in the leadership pipeline are identified so that our investments in leaders bridge the gaps. Four, invest in our leaders and align our leadership capability. Based on the earlier three steps, the business case, our theory of what effective leaders must do, and our assessment work, we must now invest in our leaders through job assignments, training and development programs, and align our HR systems to bridge the gaps. Five, measure the impact of our investments. We do this by measuring our progress about how well we have developed better leaders and increased our leadership capability in a manner that improves the results of our business case. And finally, number six, we need to ensure that we take the other five factors, which are all ensuring that we build efficacy of leaders, that our leadership system and processes and investments really work then we need to communicate that to our internal and our external stakeholders so that they'll see the value of what we've done. We have to ensure that the six elements we have discussed continue to be aligned. Let me give you an example. Companies like General Electric and McKinsey increase their leadership reputation by profiling on their websites former employees and praise their accomplishments. Berkshire Hathaway uses their annual report to showcase leadership efforts and improvement. In a nutshell, that's how you build leadership brand. And companies who understand what it is and progress through these six key elements will attract and retain better employees, build leaders who ensure that customers are delighted, and ensure that investors have confidence in the future in a way that impacts their market value.